Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I've got another trend on trial for you and today we are doing the brows. Um, I always say brows are sisters, not twins because you can't get them perfectly unless you're just, you know, very special. Um, but I wanted to show you some of the tools and stuff that I use to get my brows like this. Brows are such a trendy thing and having, you know, your brows on fleek is so important and I just love to have like a good brow. It really does change your intention entire face like if you see me like before and after brow you'll be like oh okay so um yeah and um, so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna talk it through as i do it so i'm going to start off using the bobby brown brow kit i've used this for absolutely ages although it kind of sat down for a little while i really like going back to the powders i do use gels a lot but for something that's a little bit more natural and a bit more fluffy i feel like if you use a powder it's really really good however what this doesn't have is a um a spoolie and I feel like a spoolie is like the definition of how you get a perfect brow first and definitely get some plucking and all that good stuff done as well. So I'm using the Lancome Precision Eyebrow Reshaper brush right now and obviously this is a bit of an expensive brush and um, this is probably more of a high-end tutorial but I mean when you have a good brush you know you can never go wrong when you've got the right brushes. So a spoolie always makes the difference and what I like is that the spoolie is really firm and then it's got a really good concealer brush at the end which I think is essential to have those perfect brows so firstly I just give my eyebrows a brush and I always say that eyebrows are sisters not twins because mine are not equal like this one's much longer and this one's much finer and this one's a bit more arched than that one so I try to even them out where I can but sisters not twins as I always say and then I'm using the Urban Decay brow tamer gel this is really good if you have got wild brows or wild hairs that are a bit coarse and don't want to necessarily stay in place it's a clear gel as well that just kind of straps these bad boys down so what I like about this brow kit is that there's kind of like a cooler tone and then a warmer tone. I go for the mahogany which is a little bit warmer and it's got a really coarse stiff brush. And then I just brush up in an upward motion to fill my brows in. So what I love is when you have a coarse brush like this you can almost like um, brush in hairs. And I love to take mine a bit longer and a bit closer to my nose. The thing about brows, they can't really be rushed. If you make a mistake, concealer does an excellent job of kneading it out. And as you can see, this eyebrow curves a lot more down, whereas this one kind of like ends abruptly. It's just a rude eyebrow. I mean, I cannot get enough of this eyebrow kit, seriously. So that is almost the perfect outline when it comes to my brows. And this is why I said that this brush is so amazing because it's really, really thin, meaning that you can really give your brows a nice definition. And I just use my everyday concealer to just, you know, put it on the back of my hand, get it lightly on the brush like this and create a really nice and neat line. And if you've got like, you know, overgrowing hairs and you haven't been to the salon for a while, this will really cover up those wild ones and I like to just bring it down as well because it's great as a base for my eyeshadow as well and that actually even provides a little bit of a highlight as well now I wish I can say that I've made this much effort on my brows every time I really do not <laughs> but this is what I wish I was doing more of you know Additionally, I'm not against a little bit of pencil just to add 
a little bit more depth to it. So this is the Brow Vita Pencil from Urban um, Decay as well. And I kind of just draw like one really light straight line nearer to the bottom, if that makes any sense. I just kind of do it, just one line here to add a little bit of depth. I feel like I look, I've got a really strong brow, but it doesn't look like drawn on, like one drawn on line, which you can see with just concealer around it. Finally, I'm just gonna highlight a little bit, and this looks better probably when I've got like my full makeup look on, but this is nice to add a little bit of like 3D dimension underneath the eyebrow, and uh, to make sure that they fully look on fleek. So I'm just gonna dot a little bit on, just around here, I use my finger, give that a blend. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face so you can see my final look. So guys, that is my finished look and as you can see, the brows really do frame the face and make a difference. And I know lots of people think that people have perfect brows. No, they just have perfect technique or really good technique and the right tools. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's a trend on trial. What do you guys think of my brows like this? To be honest, this is like my everyday brow. The more thicker, bushy, more refined as well is how I like them. I've got everything linked in the description bar below. In the meantime, I'll see you in my next video. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.